Hey everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT Channel. In this video, I wanted to cover some of the changes that you will see when installing Windows 11 on Proxmox 8. If you remember from a previous video I did showing the procedure on Proxmox 7, you will likely remember that we had to use the Vert IO uh, driver disk and the Windows installer by default did not even recognize the virtual hard drive being available through Proxmox. So things have changed with Proxmox 8 and the latest version, the 22H2 version of Windows 11. And so let's run through and install. All right, so here we are on our Proxmox. We are gonna create a new VM. And we're gonna call it Win11 Demo. And select the OS. This is going to be the Windows 11 22H2 ISO. We're gonna change the type to Microsoft Windows and version 11 at 2022 is fine. So we'll go ahead and say next. And this screen here is a little bit different. We've got the TPM and UEFI capabilities ready to go. We just need to select the EFI storage and the TPM storage. It's going to pre-enroll keys and we don't have QEMU agent installed at the start, but we will take care of that once we get the initial install complete. And we'll say next. Disk, we'll give it 40 gigs, just to give it a little breathing room. CPU, let's just go overboard with this. Let's go two sockets and uh, say eight cores per socket. So 16 cores total. And the processor type has changed in this version of Proxmox as well. The default is x86-64 version 2 AES. And we'll say next. Memory, we'll give it 16 gigs. Network is fine. It defaults to an E1000 network card. And we can say next and start after creation. And we'll move to the console and the correct VM number. And it should start booting here shortly. This is gonna be pretty much like any other Windows install. Next, install now. We're gonna say, I don't have a product key because we're doing this as a demo. We're gonna do Windows 11 Pro. Accept and custom new partition and we're just going to use the whole thing okay next and it's going to start copying files Thank you. 
as you can see, since we made it this far, we were not prompted for drivers at, at the earlier parts of the install. And this is going to install pretty much like a hardware install, a, a bare metal install would. So this is definitely imp an improvement. Uh, once we get this installed, you'll see that there are a couple of devices in Device Manager that are not recognized, so they don't have drivers. Um, but we are in a much better position with a Windows installed now than what we were in version 7 of Proxmox. So kudos to the Proxmox developers. This is a big improvement in my book and goes that next step to making this more viable in a more Windows centric environment, in my opinion. here we go and again this is just the normal Windows install okay name the device Okay, personal use. And even though I don't like doing it this way, we're going to go ahead and sign in. So you're going to look at me for just a moment. <laughs> um, and we are going 
going to not restore that. Set up as new device. Okay, and just for the sake of argument, I know there's inception happening here, but under 16 minutes for a full install of Windows. First thing I want to show you is if we come to uh, Device Manager, you will see there's a PCI device here that is not recognized so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to hardware and the CD and we're going to change that to the vert IO Windows ISO come back to the console and we can come in here and we're going to run the installer for x64 and run through this real quick and as you can see back here on the device manager uh, that device is no longer showing up as not having a driver so at this point you can do what you would do with every other windows install and start running updates and there's going to be a few of them so that's all i really wanted to cover in this video uh, just that it has got easier to do a fresh install in Proxmox of Windows 11 and I welcome this change. Uh, I will probably test in a future video installing Windows Server 2022 and see if that goes as smoothly. But that is that is all for now. Uh, hopefully somebody found this useful and might convince them to give Proxmox a try given how easy it is now is to run an install of windows on proxmox now one one last thing i should bring up if you are just getting started with proxmox um, um, you will want to search vert io drivers windows iso and it turns up a wiki page 
and we can scroll down here and it should have an option here's download the most recent and obviously I've already done this this is version 0 0.1.229 and I've already got that on my Proxmox server as an available ISO but if you're just getting started with Proxmox this is one of the most handy things to know about if you're working with Windows as a VM. All right, that will bring us to the end of another video. I hope people found this useful. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything and it does help the channel out. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.